Sophie Wong, thank you for joining me. Uh, what did you bring to show us today? So I brought this steel stick, JB Weld. It's basically um, like a, a clay that you can mix together that is... It's got steel particles embedded in it, so when it hardens, it's really, really hard. And I'm using it to make sort of a custom die, a custom holder for these studs that I'm putting into leather. Uh -huh. So it fits right into this hole that I made just by squishing the actual stud into a ball of this clay. And then once it cured, I can put it into my hand press here, slots in just like that, and then I can press my I can press my die in like this, Boop. just like that. It's the back of the uh, the leather. Yeah, wow. exactly. So usually you have to buy a custom die to hold whatever shape of stud you're going to set. Right. But I don't have time for that, so I just made my own with JB Weld Steel Stick. That's great. And how much does that stuff cost? Oh, geez. Good question. Uh, this has actually just been sitting in my stash for years, um, but I don't think it's very expensive. I think it's probably something like 10 or $15. It's a two-part clay it's kind of like regular epoxy clay that comes in two parts and you mix it together in equal parts um but it's all um uh like pre-formulated so it's kind of cool there's a tube of how do i explain this basically both clays are wrapped around each other in the tube so you just chop off the amount that you want and start kneading it together it smells horrible and you should definitely wear gloves when you're doing this um but you just knead it together and as you knead those two parts together it sort of starts to activate it um and then i think i left it to sit for about an hour or so um, it doesn't take very long to dry. You don't have to wait like a whole day. Um, I think it's like one or two hours that, that it cures and gets hard. And then I basically did it before lunch. And then in the afternoon, I was setting my, my studs. Well, I think this can be used for a, a lot of different things. It's, um, it's basically just an epoxy putty. So I think they use it for plumbing applications. They use it for um, anything where you, you want to form something and you need it to be really, really hard and strong when it's cured. I actually did buy it for this purpose because this is a trick that I learned when I was working at the costume shop at Seattle Opera. And we had a show where we had to set I think it was about 40 costumes that were just covered in studs like this. So we had to get multiple people on that job. And instead of buying, you know, six or seven custom dies for the studs we were using, we just made our own. So when we did that in the shop, I thought, gee, I am sure I'm going to want to do that at some point. So I just picked some of this up and I just kept it in my stash, knowing that someday I would pull this trick out and, and use it. But um, now that I've actually worked with it and I understand how this material works, I can definitely see myself using this for other things, you know. Um, I'm not sure about adhesion properties, but I think it's more about free-forming something that is very hard and strong. I mean, we were pounding on these with, like, hammers to, to hammer in our studs. So, yeah. Uh, and Sophie, what are you up to these days? I'm curious about, uh, you know, what you're using the studs on with the larger scope of that project and anything else you might be up to. It's always something interesting. Yeah, so this is all part of a big costume project that I'm doing, which you can kind of see here. It's all coming together. Um, it's a costume based on, uh, it's a character from an old movie. It's a pretty obscure character, but she's got a really awesome costume that I've wanted forever. So this costume is going to take me um, probably a while to do. I was trying to get it done for this week, but uh, my deadline evaporated, so now I can take more time. <laughs> so this project is going to encompass, you know, not just setting 
studs into leather, but I'm going to do some 3D printing, some laser cutting, some um, CNC milling. I'm making my own circuit boards for this project. So it's a big project with a lot of moving parts. And if anyone wants to follow that, I'm posting a lot about it on Instagram. Um, and a bit on Twitter as well, but I'm trying to really chronicle it on Instagram. So that would be a fun place to just see what I'm up to.